start, let us start. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Let us start. Uh, yeah, today yeah. we shall learn a new chapter, chapter 15, Life on the Art. Now let me present my screen. So we have chapter 15, Life on the Art. So in the previous lessons, we have learned about atmosphere, lithosphere, then uh, hydrosphere, okay, and so now we shall learn about biosphere. What do you mean by biosphere? Uh, let us learn. I think you may be knowing bio means a life, sphere means a layer. Okay. So living organisms of the art constituting the biosphere interact with the other environmental realms. Means living organisms interact with the other spheres. Okay. Uh, so what do you mean by uh, biosphere? See, so biosphere is uh, the part of the Earth's crust, waters, and the atmosphere. They support life. Okay. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me repeat. The uh, biosphere is the part of the earth crust, waters, and atmosphere that supports life. In other words, uh, this is a big ecosystem, okay, comprising the entire earth and the living organisms that inhabit it. So, Encyclopedia Britannica. Uh, defines uh, this biosphere as the relatively thin life supporting stratum. Stratum means layer of the earth surface extending from a few kilometers into the atmosphere uh, to the deep sea veins of the ocean. Okay, so biosphere is a relatively thin life supporting layer of the earth surface. Okay, and it lies where this lithosphere, atmosphere, and hydrosphere meet together. And as I told you, biosphere is a global ecosystem, is a large ecosystem composed of living organisms, that is biota, and abiotic, that is non-living factors from which uh, they derive energy and uh, nutrients. Okay. So biosphere includes all living components of the art and it consists of all plants, animals, including all microorganisms that live on the planet art. Okay, so let us see a diagram, see here. Uh, this diagram shows uh, the organisms, okay, living organisms in the biosphere. See here, you know, within the biosphere, uh, we have uh, these 290,000 species of plants. Okay, 290,000 species of plants in the uh, biosphere, known, okay, known one. Then we have 740,000 uh, species of insects here in the biosphere. And we have uh, these uh, 200, okay, we have 280,000 species of animals, okay, then we have uh, these around uh, 1,000 viruses, okay, then uh, we have uh, these uh, around 4,600 uh, 
monera that is bacteria and the similar forms in the biosphere okay and I say we have 66,000 uh, species of fungi then we have 30,000 species of protozoa okay 30,000 species of protozoa and 23,000 uh, species varieties of algae then means uh, very our biosphere is very rich okay is very rich of uh, these living organisms and see here life on the earth is found almost everywhere as we mentioned earlier life is found in the atmosphere life is found on the land and it is found in the oceans also okay life is uh, found almost everywhere living organisms are found from the poles to the equator, from the bottom of the sea to several kilometers in the air, from freezing waters to dry valleys, from under the sea to underground water lying below the earth surface. That means life is found almost everywhere on the earth. Okay. So this is about uh, biosphere. Remember, biosphere is a relatively thin, life-supporting stratum of the earth surface, extending from a few kilometers into the atmosphere to the deep sea veins of the ocean. So it is a layer having life support system. Okay. Uh, any question from your side? Are you clear about biosphere? No okay, then uh, let us proceed. Next, we have uh, ecology. Okay, another uh, the topic ecology. What do you mean by ecology? Let us read. Actually, ecology is a uh, branch of biology. However, it is also learned in geography. Okay, we have learned that geography is the mother of all sciences, and that is why we have to learn about uh, this ecology also. So let us read this box. The term ecology is derived from Greek word oikos meaning house. Okay. Derived from Greek word oikos meaning house. Combined with the word logi meaning science of or study of. Okay. So literally ecology is the study of the art as a household. So the literal meaning of the word ecology is uh, the study of the art as a household of plants, human beings, animals, and microorganisms. Okay, and they live all together as inter interdependent components. So all the organisms, okay, living beings and the non-living beings on the earth surface are interdependent. Okay of each other and a German geologist Ernest Haeckel who used the term oikology in the year 1869 became the first person to use the term ecology. So Ernest Haeckel was the first person was the first scientist to use the term ecology. So what do you mean by ecology? The study of the interactions between the life forms, that is biotic, and uh, the physical environment, that is abiotic, is the science of ecology. Hence, ecology can be defined as a scientific study of the interactions of organisms with their physical environment and with each other. So, ecology is defined as a scientific study of the interaction relationship okay of the organism means living beings with the physical environment okay the study of interrelationship between the life forms and uh, their physical environment is known as ecology okay 
And here we have a one. Sorry, I've waited. Yeah. Yes, any problem? Your yeah, voice is not clear. Voice is not clear? Yes, sir. Okay, let me check internet. I think internet is okay. Okay, I will, uh, I, I will try to speak uh, slowly and uh, loudly. Uh, see, uh, just we have learned that uh, this word ecology is derived from Greek word oikos meaning house and logi meaning uh, science of or the study of. So the literal meaning of the word ecology is uh, the study of the art as a household. Okay, oikos meaning uh, house. And Arnes Haeckel was the first scientist to use the term ecology. And ecology is the scientific study of, okay, uh, scientific study of the interrelationship between the living organisms and non-living organisms. Okay, it is the study of relationship, interdependent, okay, between the uh, these uh, life forms and their physical environment. Interaction means interrelationship. Okay. And here we have to know one important term that is uh, ecological system or ecosystem. So what do you mean by ecosystem? Uh, see, the interaction the interaction of a particular group of organisms with biotic factors within a particular habitat resulting in clearly defined energy flows and the material cycles on land, water, air are called ecological system. So ecological system is the interaction of a particular group of organisms with abiotic factor means with physical environment physical environment here say for example atmosphere then we have sunlight then we have uh, this hydrosphere then we have lithosphere okay the interaction between the living organisms with their physical environment is known as ecological system Okay, see, let us see one diagram here. Uh, here we have uh, the sun, the source of energy. Okay, and we have sunlight. Then we have atmosphere. Okay, then we have a uh, lane uh, with trees and the plants. Then we have water bodies. Okay, these are are uh, these uh, physical environments okay uh, these uh, abiotic components and here we have uh, animals then insects uh, then here see snacks and snails are there bacteria then protozoans so many living organisms are there and uh, the relationship between these living organisms uh, with the biophysical environment is known as ecosystem okay so are you clear are you clear yes sir, yes, sir. okay then let us proceed So let us continue. Here uh, another term is here habitat. Okay. So what is a habitat? So a habitat in the ecological sense is the totality of the physical and the uh, chemical factors that constitute the general environment. Actually see a habitat is a place where an organism or a community of organism lives including all the non-living factors 
or conditions of the surrounding environment. That means a habitat is a place where an organism or a group of organism lives. The place where uh, an organism or a group of organisms live. Okay, uh, that is known as habitat. Uh, see, we have uh, different types of habitat, as you see here. Okay, these are different types of habitat. See here, this is a mountain habitat. Okay, this is another one, coniferous forest, and you'll find different type of animals. Okay, this is another one, deciduous forest. And here we have temperate grassland, then Mediterranean forest, then tundra, hot desert, tropical rainforest, polar ice, then savanna, that is tropical grassland. And accordingly, you'll find uh, different types of animals. Okay. And uh, see here, or oh, we have also this uh, one photograph and here, here this place, okay. Uh, so this place shows uh, the habitat of uh, these African elephants. Okay, in Tanzania. So this is just an example, okay. This is just an example uh, to tell you that a habitat is the place where uh, an animal or an organism live. So here this photograph shows uh, the habitat for African elephants. Okay. And uh, see uh, about the ecosystem, we have learned the meaning. And uh, here, one more term ecological adaptation. Okay, see here, different types of ecosystem exist uh, with varying ranges of environmental conditions where various plants and animal species have got adapted through evolution. So on the earth surface, different types of ecosystems exist. Okay, with varying ranges of environmental conditions, with different types of environmental conditions, where various uh, plants and animal species have got adapted, means adjusted, uh, through evolution. And this phenomenon is known as ecological adaptation. Okay. Uh, see, let us see some more, more example, okay. And see here, let me uh, tell you more about this adaptation, ecological adaptation. In geography, it is uh, also known as acclimatization, okay, or acclimation. So it's a kind of adjustment of an organism uh, to the environment uh, through evolution, okay. So uh, in biology, Adaptation is the process by which a species uh, become fitted uh, to its environment. And ecological adaptation is the result of these uh, natural selections acting upon the uh, heritable variation over several generations. So organisms are adapted to their environment in a great varieties of ways. Say uh, they can be adapted in the uh, in their structure, uh, in the physiology and genetics, in their locomotion that is movement, okay, or dispersal, or in their means of defense and attack, and in other aspects also. In different ways, an organism can be adjusted, can be adapted to the environment. See, let us see some examples, okay. A popular view of adaptation is in regard to the form of a feature that has evolved by natural selection for a scientific function. So here, uh, see, uh, for example, the long necks of giraffe. I think all of you have seen giraffe having long necks. So the long neck of giraffe uh, for feeding in the tops of the trees. So this is an example of ecological adaptation. Okay, uh, so it's a kind of evolution. So to get the these leaves of the tall trees, uh, these animals have been uh, adjusting, okay, adapting to the environment through evolution. Then the streamlined bodies of aquatic fish and mammals, then 
the light bones of flying birds and mammals, then long dagger like canine teeth of carnivores. So, all these are developed, all these structures are developed, okay, uh, in the animal body, uh, these uh, because of this uh, adaptation. And see here, just see, see the, uh, this diagram here. Adaptive radiation in uh, Galapagos uh, finches. Actually, uh, fins uh, is a kind of small bird. Okay, is a kind of small songbird, and uh, inhabited in the uh, this uh, Galapagos island. See here, Galapagos. Actually, see uh, this is the name of an island group. Okay, in the Pacific Ocean, nearby South America. And this group of islands uh, is owned by Equator. And uh, these finches, so this is a kind of small songbird eating uh, these, uh, shit eating uh, this bird. Okay, uh, see, due to, uh, due to having uh, these different environments, see the beak, okay, the beak, that is the uh, mouth, okay. A horny projecting mouth of a bird is a develop due to different environmental conditions see here see here large tree fins then this is see there this is mangrove fins so all these uh, types or saps of beaks are developed due to having a different environmental conditions but you must know that this bird fins uh, has been evolved okay has been uh, this has a common ancestor okay these uh, finches have a common ancestor but due to uh, this ecological adaptation uh, to the environment okay they have developed different different types of finches as as you see here okay last ground fins and and we have some more examples also see here this is another uh, picture okay uh, see uh, the habitat adaptation see because of the habitat adaptation this is adaptation to the environment these walruses see this is walrus okay this is walrus this walrus uh, has a uh, thick skin to protect against cold condition this is due to uh, this ecological adaptation adjustment to the environment okay here in the polar area the temperature is uh, freezing level sub freezing level and uh, true evolution uh, these walruses have very uh, have has been developing okay thick skin to protect against the uh, cold this is one example and we have hippopotamuses here okay hippopotamuses Nostrils on the this uh, top of the snout. See here. Nostrils are on the top of the snout, and this is also uh, due to ecological adaptation. And uh, see about the one more. Okay, see here, ducks, and see the wave feet. See here the wave feet of duck. These also have been uh, developed uh, due to ecological adaptation okay so in this way organisms uh, have been adjusting have been adapting to the uh, different environments okay through evolution any question from your side no sir no sir okay then uh, one more topic see types of ecosystem okay see ecosystems are of two major types uh, we have terrestrial and aquatic okay ecosystems are of two major types: terrestrial and uh, aquatic so terrestrial ecosystem can be further classified into biomes and what is a biome so a biome is a uh, is a plant and animal community that covers a large geographical area okay a biome is a large uh, geographical area in which different variety species of plants and animals live okay 
and here definition of biome is again given here biome can be defined as the total assemblies of uh, plants and animals species interacting within specific conditions so biome is a uh, total assemblies of plants and assemblies here means community okay of plants and animals species interacting within specific conditions spe uh, interacting within a specific environmental condition okay so this environmental condition include rainfall temperature humidity and uh, soil conditions and some of the major biomes of the world are this uh, forest biome, then grassland biome, then desert biome, then tundra biomes. So these are the four major types of biomes. And we will learn about these uh, different types of biomes later on. And, and next we have this uh, aquatic ecosystem. Remember, uh, there are two major types of ecosystem, terrestrial and aquatic. An aquatic ecosystem can be classified as marine and a freshwater ecosystem. Okay, aquatic ecosystem can be divided into marine and a freshwater. Marine means oceanic. Under one, a, a freshwater. So, marine ecosystem include ocean estuaries and the coral reefs. Okay, estuaries, you know, the mouth of the river where the uh, where the fresh water meets the saline water of the sea and the uh, fresh water ecosystem includes lakes pond streams marshes and box that is wetlands okay see here uh, here we have uh, this so i have uh, produced in this way Okay, the types of ecosystem in this way as given in your book. So we have two main types of ecosystem, terrestrial, that is a lane, okay, then aquatic related with water, then terrestrial ecosystem is divided into different biomes. So we have four types of uh, biomes, uh, forest biome, grassland biome, then desert biome, and tundra biome. Okay, and aquatic ecosystem is again divided into marine ecosystem and uh, fresh water ecosystem. And uh, so marine ecosystem, we have examples of ocean stories, coral reefs. Okay, story, you know, as I have told you, this is a river. And here, this is the sea. And uh, here, this mouth of the river is known as story. Okay, this side, we have sea. Sea water, you know, this is saline. And the place where... The fresh water of the river meets the saline water we see is known as estuary. And the coral reefs, these are the islands formed by the corals. Okay. Uh, these coral reefs, say for example, this is a coastal area and nearby the coast, you may see a long island, okay, in this way, formed by corals. Coral, you know, these are microscopic uh, living organisms. Okay. We secrete calcium carbonate. And fresh water ecosystem, we have lakes, then ponds, streams, then marshes, and the box wetlands. So these are the different types of uh, ecosystem. Are you clear? Any question from your side? Yes, sir. Okay, then uh, let us stop here for today. Thank you very much for joining my class. Thank you, sir.